left off, we got the we got the bed off the truck. So that's done. And then the next day we fixed the snow plow. We had to put a new harness on the truck and we had to work on the wire harness, the light harness as well. So we got that taken care of. Now we're back to putting the bed on. Now, if you guys have a keen eye, you'll notice that this is not the same bed that was in the parking lot the other day. The bed that was in, on the trailer was not the right bed. It was actually for a dually truck. This is for a single wheel truck, which is what we have. A 56 inch cab to axle. And it also has skirt boxes front and back, which is nice other than for the guy that's got to install the bed on said truck because it's hard to weld the brackets on with all that stuff in the way. So they sent shear plates with the mounting kit. So there's six of those, there's bolts, and I don't know, we're going to either, I've already drilled out these holes for a couple of locations. I need to find a spot in the front behind those boxes. I need to do something with the fuel neck. I'm going to have to extend it. I also have a def hose to extend. I don't think it's going to reach the pocket where it goes. Get it behind the toolbox and up where it, it's just going to be a, that's going to be the biggest problem, this def tank. So this is what we're doing today. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs>
Okay, it's done. Bed's on, fuel tank's on, fuel tank's wired up, bed's wired up. Took a little longer, turned out pretty nice though. It's a good looking truck. So, anyway, pretty good looking bed actually. I never was a big fan of CM beds. I don't sell them, but I don't know. Seems like it's pretty nice. A little more difficult to install for me with the boxes on it like that. But I got it. I think JT will be happy. Fixed the plow. Had we are almost rewired the whole truck. Had to work on the wire harness on the lights because that was messed up. And I had to put a new control cable. Not controller, control cable. And I went ahead and when I got it, I've got a new power cable too, because they they're prone to act up as well. So it was part of the wire kit, the truck side electric kit. So that's what we did. Anyway. Put the light off the cab and put it on the bed because that's what they wanted. Got a backup alarm on it. Anyway, it's just a nice ride. Also, well you can't see it. I put a plug on the fuel pump so it can be taken off easier and put it hardwired to the truck all the time. And that's it. That's what we did. Probably took longer than it should have. And I probably didn't film as much as some of you all might have wished, but I only had so much time to get it done. And as things started to go south, I was having a little trouble yesterday, especially getting the fuel neck and def tank situated. The def actually turned out to be fairly easy. It actually reached. The fuel tank turned out to be about three inches short, so I had to lengthen it. And it was, I don't know, kind of a hard bind in there, but... I got it. I think it'll feel fine. We'll see. Time will tell. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you liked the two-part series. And until next time, thanks for watching.